Ooh, we're back in Mass Effect 3 with this side mission. It might be Samaras. I guess we can see, but I'm actually not sure what this is. Might be something else. Let's see though, I don't even know who to bring. Oh, Garrus. With his cool armor. Gas. Oh. Duh. That gets complicated. We're through with ED armors. So we don't need her. The RI is an interesting choice always. And everybody else has also a lot of armors like Ashley. That's a modded one. That's a modded one. The Blood Dragon armor. God, that thing looks cool as hell. Let's just bring. Oh. Ashley is not even interesting for those missions. <laughs> Let's see if we actually beat Banshees. I need something I can trust. <gasps> like the Falcon. I can trust the Falcon for my heart. Ruffle damage. Bullets pierce. Magazine us. This thing. The Falcon is like a grenade launcher. Let's keep the Falcon and nothing else is needed. Falcon only. Good. Nothing needed here. Didn't even put points in Creo armor. She gets the stasis. Bubble trap. Oh yeah, bubble trap. The hours bubble trap. <laughs> uh, kinda sounds cool though. And funny. And sexualized. Doesn't matter. I'm on the second hardest difficulty now. Right before we meet Benches. Lovely. I love that. Dig up any information on the mission, Lyra? I did. And I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Oh, yeah. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. So what does the Sari High Command want us to do? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. God, I need to remember that I need to save in this mission because I want a specific outcome and I can't F that up. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. We don't need something that dangerous running around during a war. We locate the commandos, then finish the job. As you wish. Though I'd like to know exactly who sent the distress call. We'll find out soon enough. That's a nice sun, moon, and snowy too. Okay, show me, show me the sky. Love that there's text in my way. Okay, let's do first save here. Last one was the Citadel. Blech. It's all right there. We need two saves here. Element zero. This is a nice landscape. Looks peaceful here. No music, though. No. No music, what are you? My visor's IR says this shuttle's warm. Recent visitor? You don't have a visor. <laughs> oh, Falcon. Probably the worst thing for a rain gun. Still. Cool cell gun. Elevator disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. I mean, there are stairs. Probably just an emergency. Love the music. That sound. Oh, 
No, I should have brought something else for benches. Brought something else for benches. What was that? Stay sharp. Oh, I hate benches. Perfect time that I turned up the difficulty last episode to regret it immediately. Cut her head off and her heart out. Reapers, looks like we know why the commando teams went silent. This monastery is out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Arda Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the nav point location of a bomb. It's in some place called the Great Hall. At least it's no surprise Nuke gone to Chanka, but the commandos want this place gone pretty badly. Well, I could have sworn it's Cerberus. Cerberus is everywhere. This place is a lost cause if it's already crawling with Reapers. Let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Time to kick some reapers. Harmless and Leckless Shepherd. Kicking Reaper ass. Yeah, no, but there's loot here. I heard something. That was me. Sorry. Oh. You didn't delete it. Just like that space in here. Could replay that game since there are pretty much no good game releases this year. Besides Fallout London and that's a mod. Otherwise I don't see much on the horizon. The horizon release. Horizon 2. Oh. Oh. oh I go through here. Okay. Good. Yeah, bro, probably the worst gun. We'll see. By the way, I have an all guns black mod. If you're wondering. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Oh. Samara. It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. What brings the Justicar out here? My daughters have lived here for centuries, Garrus. I've come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. And yes, she has a mod. Oh, come on. Why do we zoom in on my face now? She has a modded armor. It's not the same one from the previous games, but it's, well, at least she has something new to wear. Even though Samara can wear whatever she wants. Cool as hell. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Faler and Rila have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them. They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. We'll oh, meet pizza. again. I will draw these creatures off. Ah, oh, bad timing with my voice lines. Let's, Let's kick go. some reapers. Damn it, Patrick. The voice line timing. The worst voice line timing. My we'll kick some reapers. Uh, 
play fucking ping pong. Hell, I wasted luck. Oh, there are more already. And now I'm firing benches. <laughs> it's too quiet. Are there any uh, survivors? This fight didn't last long by the look of it. It would not the site. The monastery only had a few guards to protect it, not an army. I mean, they have other Georgies. Gotta be strong at least. Biotics. God, I should have brought the other gun. Oh, okay, ammo at least. Maybe it will help me. Oh, I'll put on fire ammo. That one's Sorry. Good. Sorry, the worst choice. Okay, we got this. Let's see if stasis works. Nope. Not at all. Not at all. Okay, that gun works at least well. I don't know what else to do with that thing. Singularity? I need that new ability. Like with the most stuff I'm using. Oh boy, ain't this effective. And you can come close because they insta kill you. Short it. Oh. oh the fuck so good oh look that thing is crawling up there on the right another one that used to be a person and Asari, what have the Reapers done? Well, they turned everyone, everyone into something. Everyone. And Asari, Katola, and Monud. I'm way more scary. Benches are the worst. Shoot. As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila. What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Trust that look. Ah, I believe you. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? What, didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Falaire. You sound like the commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Falaire? I'm sorry. Falaire! The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. Why is Lyra standing at the door and staring at the door? We'll meet you there. Please be swift. Nothing to say, Lyra? Every time Samara is in the picture, she's just, you know, looking at the door, saying nothing. Uh, also happened in Mass Effect 2. I wanted to save. I wanted to save. Gotta make sure to not hit a wrong option here. Samara must live and I already F the dumb one originally played the game. Doors open. 
This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. Uh, Rutam and Brod. Uh. Uh. Samara and Liara together. Liara didn't say a word. There's an armless shepherd coming through, kicking repairs. So much repairs to kick. Oh, look, what are you? Very engine, never saw that before. Is that a commander? Not just a random. Oh boy. Oh, nice bomb. Damn it. It's stuck. It's like a pillar pill. Ship it. Six a pillar pill. Come on, the ship. And you get down. Get bow. Oh, weapon bench. I'm gonna switch out though. For the variety. Variety matters. What else do we have? One of those sword rifles. Oh. Yeah, post rifle, I don't know how good it was, but I believe it was fun to use. Yes. It's super light, so I can take something else. Hornet, sure. Horny Hornet. What for light materials? Good. Oh, look. It's not heavy at all. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's worse. That's gonna be the far range gun. Banshee fight. Smell that. Okay, I wanna distress. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Free. Someone got already killed. Free. Jesus Christ. Gonna get executed. Ugly way to go. Nice warp. Let's see. Oh, dodged it. We have a torn, it sucks. Can dodge it. I hate it. Hey, that thing. I it. <laughs> it's a crap. Damn it, the roll button didn't work. Guess the Falcon was way better. Both of them combined. The squad abilities too aren't too good. Oh no, fire ammo too.
Yes, I need something on Liara for Banshee Judy. Okay, weapon switching. So many weapons are gonna get switched out. Yeah, Fourth Ruffle was a little bit better than Maddock. I like the Maddock. It's good, let's Maddock it up. Does it have mods? Yeah, it has mods on them already. Oh, that was trash. Hurricane. Just put on lightweight. And damage. Good. Super accurate. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that super accurate. <laughs> Unusable. ISMG is just trash in this game. Oh, oh no. I can save again. Third save, just for this machine. Machine. Instead of, you know, mission. Nice slang me. Nice music game. No. Oh. Another dead commando. Was she holding off Reapers or was she left behind? Commandos work as teams. She would have volunteered to guard this point. Hope she took some down before she died. I don't see any. I don't see any corpses. Come on. At least we brought Liara for insight. Even though we have so many Ashley armors. Ah, there will be missions for that. Is this a cutscene now? No? How are you doing? Almost looking good. Oh, we're already there. Quick, so much medical here too. There's our bomb. And Falaire. Rila. Rila, wake up. Falaire. Rila cannot hear us. Look, she's still alive. I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's <sighs> not one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. Rila? Uh, Rila, can you hear me? Dodge, Why did she do that? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? Not without a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Later. Oh boy, two of them. Lovely. Oh yeah, pool. I know pool helps a lot. Oh boy. No oh, boy. Is that a husk? There sure was one. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Just let me charge it. Thank you. Someone died, yep. Okay. That happens. That happens, you run around a lot with Benjis. Oh no. Don't bite the grass, Garris. Thanks for the support, Samara. God damn, get those shields down. I need grenades. Garris, 
Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. It's not safe to do. That's the second one, okay. I could heal them now. One of them. Okay. I guess not. Oh, they recover. They yep. have no, okay. No, no choice. They recover shields otherwise. God damn, she's. Crack that shield. <laughs> damn, it's trash. Should have sticked with the falcon. Oh, god damn. Gers is right in there. Oh, that hit me. You bastard. That's not smart of me. Let's just risk it. Oh, okay. Okay. God, I hate those creeps. What's the second one? The second one gotta be more damaged. Yep. Doesn't even matter. Eat. God damn it. The wing got shot. Good bastard. good against benches stop screaming at Samara oh boy falcon would have been good apparently <laughs> Definitely not pull, especially since he doesn't want to use it. Anyways. End it. Damn it. Damn it. That's the last one. For now, let's get back to that bomb. Oh boy. Banshees, banshees, banshees. Filaire, go! Take the elevator! Rila, what, what are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go! Move! No! Rila! I love you. Rila! Uh, <laughs> Sexy. I don't hear no bang. 
Well, should have taken the detonator. We are not your slaves. Toes. Oh, we gotta be quick. The Paragon trigger. Rila, there wasn't even time to say goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Valer. The code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all. Hell no. Let go. Hell no. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return... They won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay. As you are. Then it's tomorrow. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit. As a Justicar should. As a mother should. Oh my god damn, what the hell is Samara? Jesus Christ. Oh, the first time I played it. Must Vic free I didn't know <laughs> she's gonna kill herself. So I uh, wasn't quick enough in time for the Paragon safe and uh, uh, yeah. She just kills herself and that's it. That's crazy. That you actually need the Paragon safe her. Oh, it's time to fight tomorrow. The Reapers. I meant it when I said the galaxy needs you against the Reapers. You were right. It's past time I joined your battle. It's a crewmate. I'll fight in your armies, Shepard, once I speak with Falaire. I'll be waiting. It's a crewmate. Not for long. Thank you, my friend. It's a crewmate. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. Far from clear, is a little bit afraid of Samara. No one dares to speak when she's talking. I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. There were no Ardat Yakshi left. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Commander, Crazy. Admiral Hackett is available on Bitcoin. Crazy. Also, it just lied. Oh, but there will be many more benches, so I guess, I don't know, to turn normal. I'm sorry, into benches too, something like that. I don't know if that ever got explained. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? Mm. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnog Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. 
I'm glad you disabled that bomb on Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support. As it is, we picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. That's all. Nothing about the Asari. Ah, oh, there we go. What about the Asari? Since the coup attempt, the Asari have stepped up to the plate. They're committing fleets and sending a science team to work on the Crucible. And believe it or not, they promised us the Destiny Ascension. They haven't forgotten you saved it three years ago. Hmm. How about the Solarians? They sent the entire fleet as a thank you for rescuing their counselor. I guess they managed to overlook the genophage cure. <laughs> what? Actually, that's a thing. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful and violent. Mostly Vorcha, I hear. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Narnir Vosk is bringing his men and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. Damn. Oh, uh, Watcher. Sacrifices are definitely worth it. Okay. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Guess I can throw in the music and talk to the crew a little. Okay. We saved her. That's important. Tamara. Was it uh, That sacrifice would not be worth it. Bit too cool. Even though I don't like her modern armor that much in my, this one. Paladin armor though. She told me that Cerberus started out as an alliance black op. Black ops always go bad. If you have to deny the action, it was a crappy action. Ah. 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 You all have new messages, your code physics. Damn, the code physics. All right, here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So a Krogan and a Solarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Solarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog and the Solarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous. The Krogan says, you think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself. The implication being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Solarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well, well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Solarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. Yeah, that didn't age well. And the AI is known for being racist. Just saying. A lot of stories about that. Glad you talked Samara down. I never yeah. thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for, God, centuries. And the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut it anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the Alliance can always court martial us after we save the galaxy. Even more now than ever, I've spoken about it many times. Recruiting Samara for this goddamn game for Mass Effect 3. Right now, right now, that would seem so logical. That would seem so logical. I mean, she has nothing else to do, literally, besides, uh, I don't know backstory stuff but they could have literally had her on the crew right now recruiting her right afterwards she even says she's gonna join us commander and then um, nothing nothing makes no sense could have had another cool asari but i guess unless it's human you're only allowed of one per race one squad per race which also makes no sense what are you doing Edie? monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather with the Reapers attacking the comm buoy systems, critical. <laughs> okay. Interesting talking to you. Nerd. We got a message from Samara at least. Thank you. 
Just like a from. Benny. Citadel Memorial. Miranda. Huh? We cannot talk to Miranda, of course. Ella Citadel interview. Oh my god, damn, so much Jacob Taylor. Oh, we soon have to make a run to the Citadel. Okay, we got a lot of people there. Take a break, Garrus. Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah, there's something there in the visiting city. <laughs> okay. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna do that in the future. I feel like I'm gonna get to full range first. A little bit. Not finish the quest, but get with them. I want a different outfit. Full outfit has too much coat. <laughs> Not invite Ellas. What's not having a coat? Perfect. That actually looks good. Kinda. No, not yet. Not yet. Just gotta talk to the crew and call it a day. Recruit some Koreans. Yay. Everybody was fighting the Rachni, trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. Wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while. And now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorim. The Andoromai conquered the Vanduma. And the Jatil turned against the Ja. So, I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditaka preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. No answer to that. Okay. Samara's the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. I want her on my team. Now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. I can only imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Or the Hanar. Or the Vorcha. This could get a lot worse before it gets better. I don't think we ever saw one of those creatures getting turned into something else. Reaper-like. Good to see you. Okay, the music is a tit too loud. A tit too loud. Turn to number two. The walk <laughs> Ah, Javik, talk to me, baby. Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. Oh, they yeah. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. Mm, the Banshees, though, they take the cake. Yeah. Okay. This human holds such childish views of war. Your species has much to learn. Which human? Commander. Commander. That's all? Ah, come on. It's a brilliant tactic, when you think about it. But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but converting other life forms into Reapers? I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder, eliminates any local resistance, and for every soldier you add, your enemy loses too. The one you converted, and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. Anything else? No. But cool talk. But uh, the problem is the husks aren't really that human-like. They don't look that human. They don't look that human. They don't look like they were... They're having someone else's face to look more like skeletons. Hey, Commander. I dug out some letters my youngest sister wrote when she was in high school. She was... 
Having a hard time. Teen drama and all that. Just needed her big sis. I guess with everything that happened down there, I just wanted to read them again. And there we got family Ashley with no cool talks. You sure make some unusual friends, Shepard. Chavik? Who? Oh. That's all? That is not a side of the sorry I ever want to see. Shepard? <laughs> and I thought James is boring one liners. But I guess you also take that cake. Chavik won't be downstairs. Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. Sleeping. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Sleeping. Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the lowest relay. Just sleeping. Just tired. Need some more words? Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No. Not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures, nobody deserves that. You know what I deserve? A full Asari teammates. Full Asari squad with two Asari teammates. That's what I want. Ah, oh, nope. Not in this game. Only thanks to mods, maybe in the future. Hello, Shepard. You don't uh, Hello, Shepard. talk about Samara, right? He's scared of Samara. The hell is that? They are scared of Samara, for sure. Dr. Locke, I'm pretty sure Samara would actually kick Liara's ass. Just a white guess. White guess? Just a guess, you know, just a guess. I don't know, white guess makes sense. I don't need store discount bonuses, because I got more discount bonuses. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Corinne's next. Peace out.